it's not just upload a picture and there you go there's a million dollars in your bank hello um welcome back to my channel which i don't think i've actually posted on for a massive total of two years but we're just gonna ignore that because i just i've been wanting to make a video like this for quite a while now and i have this channel so since i already have an account then i thought i may as well just make it on this um channel um so i'm really sorry i haven't posted but no one has time to do youtube unless they're like a full-time youtuber really so so i thought i would just make this video because i don't know whether you've seen or whether you're interested in it but i know some people are and i love watching videos about day in the lives and how people have got on and how they speak about their experiences and stuff because obviously there's a huge stigma around it uh, and uh, people have different experiences so um, especially after the program that uh, Liv Atwood has just brought out called um, Getting Filthy Rich uh, I found that really interesting and I just wanted to give light on the truth about it because unless you do it unless you're involved in it you won't actually know like what's involved and um, yeah let me just tell you that <laughs> so I've been on the site for, um, I think I started in like May 2020 because it was locked down and I was just talking with my boyfriend and I was just like, so many people like in the car community because I like cars so on Instagram I was seeing all these people starting one and I was just like, this is crazy, like I'd never do anything like that, <laughs> two years later, still doing it. Um, so I started it and I thought, oh this is like a fake thing, um, anyway, turned out to be real, turned out to be safe all legal everything and i started to really enjoy it um so for me money wise um i've been doing university for two years and i've been doing unpaid placement as well um so i was doing like 20 hours a week um placement unpaid and then two days of uni and then on top of that like all the assignments and the revision um so i didn't really have time for a part-time job unless i wanted to lose my complete life um, but anyway, I have deferred from that course now, so that's a story for another time, but thank goodness for this site. This honestly just may help me through uni because with the course I was doing, it was really practical. It was quite a heavy one. You don't really have time to have any sort of job, and if you did, it's pretty hard to find play places which will take you on for like five hours a week, and then it's pretty pointless, I think. <laughs> um... So, I am absolutely beyond grateful for it. Um, so, yes, um, at the moment I'm doing it full time because I'm in summer holidays. Even if I hadn't have deferred from uni, I'd still be doing it um, through the summer anyway to keep it going because obviously you don't get student finance. Um, but I've applied for so many other jobs in the animal industry because I was studying vet nursing, but I'm not sure what's going on with that right now. So my experience with the site is, um, yeah, like I said, it is not just you post a picture, you get a million dollars in your bank, you get to buy, you know, a Nissan GTR. It's just not like that. Like, I have done so much research. I've bought so much coaching. I've you, spoke to so many girls who do it. I have a friend who does it as well, which is great. Um, so I've been doing it for two years. And I don't know if you know this, but there's like a percentage and the more active you are, the more people pay for your stuff, the more people interact with your page, your percentage will uh, decrease. And um, the big creators who are on about 50k a year or 50k a month, in fact, I've seen um, people say that they're on 50k a month and I, it just absolutely blows my mind um, to have that sort of money rolling in. But um, yes, the, I'm now hit the uh, 4 seven percent or i woke up this morning it was 4.6 and it has taken me two years to get there um so it is just not easy it, it depends i think it depends on how many followers you have on instagram i mean i think the only reason why i've done so well on it and been able to keep it as like a part-time job like part-time earnings um is the fact that i like cars and obviously there's a lot of male people in cars and maybe they're drawn to my instagram i'm not really sure 
Um, I mean, I'm thankful for it, but that's not why I like cars. I just like cars anyway. But, um, yeah, I really enjoy it. Basically, I've had such a good experience on the site. Um, there's always a few weirdos out there, but um, it is pretty safe. And I don't think you have issues until you start becoming one of the big creators because the big creators are, you know, you're more prone to like people who want to stalk you, threaten you, leak your stuff. Like small creators like me, no one gives a shit about because no one knows who I am. So I haven't actually experienced any of that bad stuff, but it is terrible. It's always in the back of your mind. I think you have to be a certain type of person to do it. And um, you start off saying, like, I started off posting photos in a uh, dressing gown. And I was just sat there like this, like... And then as the money comes in and as people are like, oh, he looks so good or whatever. It's a confidence boost. Like, it, it really is. And it, it can feel empowering, you know. It, it, some people say that it is empowering. I just find it fun. I just, I've always liked creating content and taking photos. And let's face it. You're not going to be able to earn much money off YouTube unless you push and push and push for years or you have a lucky break. So that's hence why I stopped trying with the YouTube journey, <laughs> sadly. Um, but yeah, I just, I love the process. Like, I love getting ready. I mean, I'm not that girly, so it's the only time that I am sort of girly. And I, you know, just putting on a cute lingerie set, taking pictures, making money from it and running your own business because... Other than that, it is pretty hard to run your own business. Um, I couldn't think of anything that else that I could do that would be my own business, really. Um, so it's giving me a taste of self-employment and everything. Um, you do still have to pay tax. Um, you do still have... We do still pay tax. Um, it is all legal um, and so on and so on. So overall, my experience has been quite good. Um, and yeah... Uh, I just, it's fun. I, I find it fun. But I will tell you one thing, which people do not realise, and I'll say it over and over and over again. It's not just taking one picture and then you're making money. Like, for me to get where I am now and increase my earnings a little bit more, and also when I was doing uni, my earnings just dropped and, like, all my subscribers just left because I was so busy doing assignments and that. Like, you, it is, like, your own business, your own page. You have to be online almost every single day. A lot of people are online at night, so you're like on just constantly like on your phone. It's not that healthy to like be on your screen all day, um, and it can be a bit like mm, dulling. Which is why I still want to work with animals. I couldn't do this full time. I'm really grateful for it and I love it, but I just don't think I could do it full time, regardless of what I you know maybe earn in the future. Um, so yeah. Uh, that's sort of my insight. I might make another video because I'm pretty sure I'll cut off this video and then I'll be like, oh crap, there were so many other points that I wanted to make. But um, yeah, if anyone wants advice on how to start their page, obviously I have been doing it for two years. Um, and I think the reason why I haven't grown as much as I could have is because I had uni and it wasn't my main priority, whereas right now it kind of is. And even me, I'm just like, I'm just, I'm not bitter, I'm just absolutely baffled how much people can earn, of men and women, how much they can earn off this site. And I honestly think it's, it's great because I feel like it is leading, you know, the porn industry. That type of industry in the right way, meaning you can, you know, it's safer, you can make it at home. And I think the reason why people subscribe to people's pages is just because it is different to those kind of sites because it's more personal like you see that person on instagram and then you can chat to them you can request customs is more of a much more personal experience and i have a laugh with my subscribers and i you know sometimes i talk about cars and like food and life stuff like I'm completely open about it, which i think is what it should be like because there's no point just having a site where you know, you you just don't get that personal experience and it's it's just like all the other sites out there. Yeah. So that's the end of the video. My throat's starting to hurt now. Very scared I have COVID. Um so I'm gonna I'm gonna go. <laughs>